The world of information, and in particular the world of uh, nuclear information, is undergoing some major changes. Until recently, the main concern of information users was the quantity of information and the way they can access that information. That's not the concern anymore. Today, today's users, they have uh, different concerns. For them, one of the main concerns is uh, the, the quality of information, not the quantity anymore. The second uh, major concern or major requirement is the question of relevance of information. There is lots of information there, but we need the information which is relevant to our own needs or information search. And finally, the, the last but not the least uh, requirement of today's users is the question of trustworthiness. There are lots of uh, different publishers on the web. They can publish almost anything they want, but we have to know, especially in the field of nuclear energy, who is the publisher and have the trustworthy uh, information displayed to us. INIS is trying to uh, fill all these requirements with its 3.6 million records which are available to anyone on the web. A great efforts were made by the IAEA and in particular by the uh, Department of Nuclear Energy in improving access to uh, nuclear information resources available. Um, however, today I will be only talking about uh, International Nuclear Information System, INIS, and the efforts we have made here in improving this access. So I'll start with the year 2009. In 2009, the major thing which happened with INIS was that uh, we opened, finally, after almost 40 years, we opened the database to the world. So anyone who had access to the web had, had access to, to INIS. In 2010, we introduced something called the search widget, which allowed anyone in the world that can place that uh, widget on their website and search directly in its collection through that. In 2011, INIS replaced its legacy search database with um, a leading standard today with the Google-based technology, which helped us with two things. It increased the speed of searching and gave uh, an additional element of uh, full text indexing and full text searching. We also, at that year, we added the English thesaurus and we all also added the cross-language um, searching and multi-language user interface. In 2012, um, that was the year of uh, everyone wanting to go mobile, so we introduced the, a mobile version of the INIS website. Also, that year we introduced uh, the library catalog, or we added the library catalog, so once you do the search of uh, uh, in his database or in his collection, you're also searching at the same time transparently the library collection. Um, one more real um, addition was that year that we introduced uh, uh, Thesaurus, which covered also additional all languages. So at the moment, there are eight languages covered. A new feature was introduced which allows the INIS collection to be browsed by subject category. Uh, another uh, addition was the EIA meetings on atomic energy database, which, which was added to the INIS search. It also became transparent while doing the search. Uh, very recently, we added the new NE News app for iPad, which was released and offered access to news and information from the Department of Nuclear Energy through an easy-to-use uh, application. If you're talking about the future, our future efforts will continue to be directed towards improving users' access to information and especially providing a single and easy access point to all nuclear information available from the Department of Nuclear Energy.